what's good everybody welcome back so today we're doing a radiator uh, replacement on this uh, 2013 nissan altima and it's a 3.5 and i did see a lot of videos uh, out there doing it but they did uh remove some stuff that you don't really need to so that's why we're doing this video to show you guys exactly what you guys need to do and straight to the point so go ahead and get a jag and a jack sand uh, because the first thing you guys want to do is go ahead and drain the the coolant and make sure you guys uh, have a bucket or something just to get that coolant that thing is going to be right here on the passenger side and let me show you on the bottom uh, it's going to be right here you see this one right here uh, it's just a phillips so go ahead and uh, unscrew this and let the coolant drain all right so the next step is go ahead and take this coat rod right here and if you have one of these even better if you don't it's all right you still can do it so go ahead and get a flathead if you don't have one of these and go ahead and remove all these clips right here and once you do so you're gonna remove you it out the way this cover go ahead and uh, remove these, these two bolts and those are 10 millimeters so after you do that go ahead and take this uh, uh piece of the intake out and i'll be right back after you remove that go ahead and remove these bolts right here which is these three and same thing right here okay so my bad on on these bolts the only one that you got to remove is this one right here because this these two is just holding the bracket for the bumper and this one is holding with the frame so this is the only one so go ahead and put these back if you remove them if you didn't uh you don't need to remove these two okay so i went ahead and put them back just so i won't have a bunch of bolts right there which i won't forget uh, i would set them up how i'll be taking them off that's one of the main things because if not you're gonna put the wrong bolts after removing these right here go ahead and remove this one right here after you guys do that come uh, to the side of the fender wheel you're gonna have a bolt right here on this side also on the other side so go ahead and remove that that's gonna be a 10 millimeter as well so go ahead and do that all right so after removing the bolts from the side of the fender uh, go ahead and um, come to the top again and go ahead and remove this little clip that is right here and just move it to the side and you're gonna want to remove this uh, bolt right here and that's also gonna be a 10 millimeter so once you remove that just go ahead and uh, slide this thing out just like that and go ahead and do that for the other side as well on this side you're just gonna want to pull it just like this kind of like pushing it uh, towards you right here on the side the only thing that you gotta do is pretty much just uh, pull it out Let's see. just pull it out just like that and it's gonna be coming out so on the passenger side the other thing that you got to remove is this right here this little clip because it is connected to it is connected to the bumper right here so just go ahead and remove that but whenever you are pulling it out it's gonna come out just like this and before uh, taking it out completely uh, it does have uh, two bolts on the bottom on each side but I wanted to show you guys real quick. Once you uh, put it in and out, make sure you guys disconnect the lights. If you have fog lights, if you don't, then you don't gotta worry about this step. But uh, before removing the bumper, let me go ahead and go through. There's gonna be these two, well, three of them, and three screws, which is just holding this little cover. I believe it's more. Uh, once you get on the bottom, you're gonna be able to tell if you guys have a cover right here. But if it does, just go ahead and remove it. So once you remove the bottom screws, go ahead and uh, remove the the bolt. And it does have another connection right here on the inside. Just, so do it one side at a time. That way the bumper don't come out. And it does have a connection right here. So just pull it out. And on the bolt, I took it out all completely. So you, you just twist it out and go ahead and do it for that side and just go ahead and remove the bumper. It shouldn't be nothing attached to it anymore. So once you remove the the bulbs you should be good to go next step as you guys can see the bumper is out because we are going to be taking out this um, this support right here and the things that you got to remove is this one right here on this corner this one right here and these two bottom bolts right here and once you do that just uh, remove it out the way and those are pretty easy to uh, remove so you're just gonna pull them out and pull them out from both of the horns so you guys do that just go ahead and uh, pretty much take them out from here you can use the same thing as you remove the clips so go ahead and remove that and get this out the way put the wiring to the side next thing to do is uh, just go ahead and take out this uh, cover right here move these four bolts right here and same thing with this side 
those are gonna be 13 millimeters and I forgot to tell you guys these bolts right here is the same thing 10 millimeters so go ahead and remove this right here also remove this right here this little cover it's just holding by two clips right here so go ahead and remove that and this okay so whenever you're removing this support right here it is going to be connected to this little wires so go ahead and unhook them from there and you should be good so as of now we still gotta do a couple little stuff right here on the front but we're gonna focus on on removing the stuff that we need to remove right here uh, which we are gonna be removing the next thing to do is go ahead and remove this uh, bolt right here go ahead and remove this one right here and go ahead and remove this hose as well we also gonna be removing this bottom hose don't remove it from right here on top where it holds from this go ahead and remove it from the radiator and this this clamp right here which is gonna be a little bit difficult because the angle but go ahead and remove it from there and once you do that this screw is not gonna be here so go ahead and just put this hose all the way right here on the top that way it'll be on our way the hose just put it to the side just like this after that go ahead and uh, just take this uh, wiring out of the little clips from right here and all the way around just like that and to remove these um, these connections just go ahead and uh, push it right here and then pull it up the only difficult one is going to be this one right here because it is in a little tight spot right here but same thing just uh, squeeze it right there and pull it up go ahead and uh, remove this 10 millimeter bolt and go ahead and remove this 10 millimeter bolt as well you also want to remove this one right here this connection and you're going to do the same thing so go ahead and remove this one this one right here this one right there and the two 10 millimeter bolts okay so like on every video i always like to do it step by step because I know a lot of videos out there they'll just tell you to do this and this and then if they run into a problem they probably won't tell you until you do it so on this one it does have a like a little uh, clip well right here on the bottom but I just went ahead and cut it right here because I will be putting a new one but then um, just unhook it from there as well because it's gonna be attached to the hose then another thing that whenever you remove the bolts you're gonna want to kind of lift it up just like that to unhook it from the from the hooks and same thing right here to that just go ahead and lift it up and the way that is gonna come out you're gonna lift this uh, the left side the passenger side and then just kind of work it this way unfortunately we weren't able to get it out uh, like that you probably get it out without uh, doing this next step but like I always tell you guys, a little bit more steps doesn't hurt because then you can damage something else. So before doing this, go ahead and uh, just disconnect the battery from the negative side. And to remove these connections to the computer, uh, you just gonna wanna push this little thing right here and then just lift it up. And then it's gonna kinda come out, you pull it the rest of the way. So go ahead and do that to all three and just move it to the side. And that should give you enough room to be able to just lift it out because this right here this connections are so close and then it's a bunch of connections right here. if you just replacing the fan that's all you got to do on this step right here okay so as you guys can see i took it off and that gave me enough room to move these wires out the way and to be able to take it out and once again you don't have to remove the the fan in order to remove the radiator but i do it because the these hoses right here have to come out and this one right here too and then the one on the bottom and you can probably access the one on the bottom through the bottom but i don't like to struggle and to remove the fan that ain't nothing to it as well it's just two bolts and of course this little stuff but that ain't nothing to it so go ahead and remove uh this uh, clamp right here this clamp right here and then this one right here on the bottom. you guys do that might as well just disconnect this connection right here because we are going to be moving the condenser out the way same thing just kind of press it in and push it up the condenser do have these little clips too let me let me focus it real quick these little clips and the way to do it is just go ahead and press them in and kind of lift the the condenser and same thing on the bottom but the bottom is just sitting on it so go ahead and uh push those little things on both sides and then kind of lift it up 
put something right here on the bottom because we're not going to be removing it we're just going to be kind of hanging it to the side okay it's going to be sitting just like that and as you guys can see right here that's where our radiator was busted you guys want to put something right here on the bottom just like this so that way it's going to be resting on it and you don't damage these lines right here after that it's pretty much easy to, to remove it as everything is already pretty much taken out so just go ahead and uh take it out the way and remove the the radiator the only thing right here on this side is just these lines but as you guys can see right there they kind of curve down so just pay attention that way you guys don't bust them whenever you try to put them in so go ahead and remove it and all right so as you guys can see we took it out so one thing that you guys want to do and always make sure is to double check everything make sure like these connections are the same same thing on the bottom that pretty much is entirely the same because you don't want to put it on and then for it not to be the same thing or missing a line or anything like that it's always possible especially when you're in a rush so yeah go ahead and uh, install the new one and put everything back together after you guys do that i'm gonna show you guys how to bleed the system and i'm gonna do that real quick uh, because I don't usually do that, but I'm gonna show you guys exactly everything that you guys need to do step by step as I mentioned before This job is not too bad. It's just a lot of time consuming and especially when you got to bleed it I think that's the most thing that takes a little bit more time Go ahead and put everything back together and at the end of the video I'll show you guys how to go ahead and put everything already The only thing that I got to do is pretty much bleed the system so come inside the vehicle and um take out the ac and just put it don't turn it on just put it to the on position uh put it to the lowest uh setting right there and then go ahead and put it to the max on the on the heat and then just leave it right if you guys there. have one of these funnels even better if you don't you still can do it so go ahead and uh, start pouring the cooling in and just go ahead and pour it slow that that way all the air inside the system can come out all right i went ahead and added cooling all the way to the max of the radiator one thing i did forgot to tell you guys if you guys have a jack go ahead and jack it up just a little bit to help you with the process and as you guys can see the cooling is right there it might seem a little dirty but that's just a funnel but whenever you have the car on just make sure to leave it the same on the heat and then the lowest setting and that will help again with the bleeding process whenever you are uh, bleeding it and waiting for the coolant to go down and stuff another thing that you can do is go ahead and uh, squeeze the hoses which is this one here and just uh, squeeze them and as you guys can see it kind of helps same thing you're going to want to squeeze the bottom hose if you can it's all right you can just wait for for it to bleed it so you want to wait for at least 10 minutes or so until the thermostat opens when the thermostat opens you're going to see the cooling going down and just be ready whenever the cooling goes down to add more you don't want more air to go in the system and after it kicks on the first time you're going to want to do it again until it kicks on for the second time once it kicks on for the second time you're going to want to wait for the fans to stop and just wait like around five minutes or so and then you can turn off the car just top it off once you top it off on the radiator just go ahead and add a pool in the reservoir and just add it to the minimum but yeah that's it for this video if this video was helpful make sure to give it a like comment if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe and see you guys in the next video